Welcome to Axiomatic Course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2020. So we are going to solve this problem number 5 and this problem is actually from the calculus. So let us have a look on this question. What it says. So it is saying that if, if, if the equation of the tangent plane to this surface. So we got a surface for which we have a tangent plane okay so at the point so we have a point such that on this for this surface the equation of the tangent plane is like this then the value of mod d is okay so this question was a wrong question in the exam and we will do we will prove that why it was wrong and what are the correct options okay we will do that part but before doing that part, we want you to know some basic results regarding the tangent plane thing, okay, of a surface, of a given surface. So, we are given a surface with uh, two variables, okay, z is equal to 16 minus x square minus y square and we have also a point on that plane, okay. So, these are the things to notice. So, just wait for a second, I will show you that note. Okay, so this was a note that I was talking about. Let us see what this note is actually suggesting that. So it says that if f is a scalar valued function, then this symbol actually represent gradient of f. Okay. So it says that if f is a scalar valued function, then gradient of f at a point x, y, z represents the direction ratios of normal vector to the surface f at x y z point you're getting my point so whenever you try to find gradient of a surface what you are actually doing you are trying to find out its normal vector or i can say the direction ratio of normal vector you're getting my point so this is what your note number one is suggesting us that gradient of f is always a normal vector okay now Come to the op um, uh, note number two. What it says that if A, B, C are direction ratios of normal to the plane and A, B, C, this is a small A, B, C and that is capital A, B, C is a point on the plane, then the equation of the plane is given by this equation, right? So that means if we if we are doing if we are trying to find out an equation for the given plane f, what two things we need? We need direction ratios of normal to that plane and a point on the that plane. So these are the two things that we will be uh, needing when we are we will be we will be trying to find out the equation of the plane, right? So now let us keep this note uh, on side. Okay, so now let us solve this question. Okay, what f do we have? We have f is equal to, okay, there's a problem. I'll fix it. Okay, so what f do we have? We have this surface, right? x is equal to 16 minus x square minus y square okay so take everything on the left side except uh, okay so take everything on the left side so now i can choose my f to be what x square plus y square plus z minus 16 is equal to 0 right so this function is now a scalar value function and for this function, if we will find out the gradient, then it will actually represent the normal vector or you can say the direction ratios for the normal. Okay, this is what we have studied from our note. So now let us figure out what will be the gradient for f. So what is gradient? Gradient is basically del f over del x comma del f over del y comma del f over del z okay so these two f's are actually same okay i have written it wrongly but these two f's are same so what is x square plus y square plus z minus 16 this is what f i have now 
when you will differentiate it partially with respect to x what you will get you will get 2x comma 2y comma 1 right now at which point we are working we are working at 1 3 6 this is what is given in the question okay we are working at this point 1 3 6 so del f at 1 comma 3 comma 6 will be what 2 uh, i think 6 comma 1 okay so now we have got our direction ratios direction ratios for the these are called the drs drs for the normal to the given surface at that point okay you're getting my point so finally we have done that part now what are the equation equation for the given plane is a times of x minus a plus b times of x minus b plus c times of x minus c right this is a this is a equation now what are what is a a is 2 and uh, what is small a small a is 1 okay small a b c are, is the point that is given to you 6 x minus 3 plus 1 x minus 6 okay so if you will solve this then you will get 2x plus 6y plus z is equal to 26 right now i will change this thing a little bit so from here what you are getting that b is your correct option right this is what you are getting from here because you have to find out the value of the mod d so since it is 26 so what you are getting that uh, what you are getting 26 as your answer now what is the problem in this thing the problem is very important that when you try to figure out the direction ratio one thing is pretty clear that direction ratios are not unique okay so at the point 1 comma 3 comma 6 you will have infinitely many direction ratios okay so if you multiply this vector with a constant lambda then also then also you will get direction ratios for f at the given point 1 comma 3 comma 6 you're getting my point or not what i'm trying to say that direction ratios for a given vector are never unique you can multiply them with any constant you're getting my point so finally what we are getting that if you will choose a lambda different then you will not get 26 as your answer okay so this is an exercise for you that what lambda you have to choose in order to get 46 as your answer 36 as your answer and 16 as your answer okay i can choose a lambda such that or not a lambda i can choose three lambdas such that this one this one and this one is also our answer you're getting my point or not so finally we have proved that a b c d are correct right now since this is a single mcq question so that means uh, in this question no answer is a correct answer okay so everybody got marks in this question so this was a simple question totally based on these two notes which we have written here okay these this fact is very important this is what you have to keep in mind so thank you